Evolution is defined as the gradual changing of the same species to benefit their survival. There were two theories made on how this process happened. Lamarck's theory, the theory of acquired characteristics, and Darwin's theory, the theory of natural selection. Both scientists agree that evolution is caused by the need to survive. In this case, Ursus Martinus, or polar bear, showcases this evolutional change in the colour of the fur. This species first evolved from the common brown bear species 3,500,000 years ago. They adopted many structural, functional and behavioural changes in order to survive their new arctic environment, making them an outstanding example of how evolution can change organisms to boost their survival rates. While Lamarck and Darwin agree that evolution happens in order for a species to survive, their theories differ greatly in some points. Charles Darwin's idea of natural selection is based on a species' reliability on reproduction. He believes that if an organism obtains a trait which benefits its survival, then it will live longer than the organisms that haven't got that trait, meaning it will survive longer and be able to breed more, spreading its survival trait with its offspring, which in turn will have their own offspring until the whole species has this trait. For example, white moths that live in the woods would appear more salient to the dark wood, making them an easy target for their predators. So the moths were driven to adapt to the new environment, adopting a trait which makes them a darker colour to camouflage with the wood, making them live longer and breed more, passing on their trait. Darwin dictates that the survival trait can only be inherited from their parents. Lamarck, on the other hand, believes that if an animal wanted to change how its body works, then it would be able to. He hypothesizes that if an animal stretched out its neck to reach food to survive longer, and then reproduce, its babies would also have stretched out necks. Title this theory, the theory of acquired characteristics. While both scientists were believed at the time, research shows that Charles' idea of evolution is more likely than the marks. However, some animals fit in one theory more than the other. The polar bear originated from the same species as brown bears. However, when brown bears were introduced to a new environment, they were forced to adapt and change to survive. The Arctic is a harsh biome filled with barren white landscapes. The polar bear's ancestors, the brown bear, lived predominantly in woods around Northern America and Europe. Its brown fur helped to camouflage with its brown forest environment. However, when these bears wandered into the icy tundra, the brown fur that once benefited them made them an obvious brown dot in a bleak white environment. This made sneaking up on predators a challenging task, which when combined with the scarcity of food available, challenged their survival. Therefore, when the brown bear obtained a trait which changed the colour of their fur to white, they were able to sneak up on its prey with their newly acquired camouflage. As a result of this survival trait, they were able to live longer and breed more than the brown bear in the Arctic environment. Eventually, the newly evolved polar bear took over the brown bear population in the icy biome by surviving and passing on their trait. This evolutionary change justifies the clear example of Darwin's theory of natural selection. While Darwin's theory of natural selection is widely accepted by the scientific community, there is still a large amount of the world's population that don't believe in evolution, despite being a plethora of evidence suggesting otherwise. Evidence supporting evolution is found in many different forms, such as fossils, DNA, and embryo similarities. Scientific research has found fossil and DNA evidence that proves evolutionary change that polar bears have achieved. Studies on the similarities between brown bears and polar bears have revealed the existence of polar bear slash brown bear in hybrids. This interbreeding seems to suggest that the two species had contact with each other in the past. The cause of this contact would be due to the two species originated from the same group, but over a long span of time, the polar bear's genes mutated in favour of the polar bear's native environment causing them to split away from the brown bears. Although scientists agree that the polar bear evolved from the brown bear, there has been some debate on how long ago this happened. However, the recent discovery of a fossilized version of a polar bear's jawbone has settled this argument, with the fossil being confirmed as over 130,000 years old, making it the oldest polar bear fossil to date. Organisms clearly exhibit evolutionary changes which the human race can understand and interpret through the study of fossils and DNA. The polar bear is an outstanding example of how a species can adapt to survive in a new environment. There are millions of other organisms that showcase this just as well. Therefore, the question we should be asking is not if evolution exists, but how did it start?